Hello, people. Welcome to another awesome playthrough by your good friend, <laughs> your good friend, Chad Marco. So, this time on Super Chad Marco Gaming, I will be playing the popular action packed African killing machine Chris Redfield game. <laughs> Resident Evil 5. Just before I get into it, I just want to talk a little bit about my history with this game. So, I have beaten this game before. It was a uh, quite a while ago, uh, quite a few moons of quite a few moons ago when I beat it. Um, I believe the first time I beat it, I beat it with my best friend and fellow rapper Nova, the Flame God. I, I forget the order of that sometimes. Uh, but we had a fantastic time playing this game. Um, and from what I remember, I think a lot of my enjoyment of the game did come from the fact that I played it with a friend. But... I think it'll be interesting playing it now because I this might be the first time that I'm beating it solo dolo. And I think the thing about Resident Evil 5 is that it's known for a lot of people saying that the multiplayer is kind of what made it. Cause it's not it's not nearly as it's not nearly as how should I say this? Um I think its individual parts aren't as memorable as Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil Evil 4 is just like this roller coaster ride of, of different set pieces and events and and uh, enemy rushes and, and different challenges and, and trials and all kinds of shit. And like every step of the way, once you beat that game, it becomes permanently etched in your mind. Like every single part. And I think this game doesn't really have that. I think the beginning is very is is somewhat memorable and 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 very well crafted. But I think as the game goes on, it it loses that. Whereas in Resident Evil 4, the entire game is th there is no way you can play that game and just not remember every single every single part step by step. You know, because every part of that game was so well crafted. And 5, to me, didn't really have that. But what 5 had that 4 didn't was its multiplayer. And I think that was the big selling point with this game. I wish I could play it with someone else, but I don't have friends anymore. <laughs> At least no one that I could, you know, get over here on a consistent basis to, to play this whole game with me. So, we're going to do it solo. But I think, you know, that in and of itself would be a very interesting um experience just for the sake of um you know th this might be i think this is my first time doing it solo all the way and so i think that could give me at least some perspective on what the game is like um uh, without the without the benefit of multiplayer because let's face it most things are are a bit more fun when you do it with other people especially when it comes to video games um, so I'm looking forward to this, this, uh, Resident Evil 5 experience the way I've never experienced it before. Um, but before I get into it, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't have them all. Okay. I'm definitely using Sheva. You know, I'm one of those guys that that loves to use girls in video games. If you haven't noticed, I think I used Shelva the first time I played it too with, with my friend. Oh, I see. You got to complete chapters to unlock the things that you can buy. Okay, so let's get right into it. Normal. Just join your gang. Invite only. 
Hmm. Oh yeah, I could play with with people <laughs> online. Anyone to join your game? Nah, but I think that when people join your game, they bring their weapons with them, and so it would it wouldn't really be a raw playthrough. I think I think when people join your game, they have access to the weapons that they have access to. So. I don't want to have that. I want to play it raw. No condom. Resident Evil 5. Let's go. This game was a, a big deal when it came out too. I remember um, when this game came out, I used to spend a lot of time on the V-Board on 4chan. And they were all over this game, man. It, I think I didn't play it till maybe like a year after it came out. I did play the demo, but I was a broke boy back then. I still am, but I was really broke back then. Damn, that makes me that, that makes me uh, think though. I'm making a little money now. I could, I could go just straight up buy Resident Evil Village. I should do that. Captain Deshant here. He's I might do that. The underground route to the coordinates. I gotta buy a gun first though. Oh man, that looks so good. That looks like real footage of Africa. I remember when me and my friend first played this, we were high as fuck too. <laughs> we had smoke in my backyard and we came in the house and started playing. It didn't take long after the fall of the Umbrella Corporation for their bio weapons to end up in the hands of terrorists. A new era of bioterrorism descended upon vulnerable countries, shifting the balance of power throughout the region. People in the destabilized areas soon feared another incident like Raccoon City was inevitable. As panic spread, governments of the world turned to the Global Pharmaceutical Consortium which formed the anti-terrorism unit, BSAA. Operatives of the BSAA were sent to infiltrate and neutralize bioterrorist hotspots, restoring safety and stability to various regions around the globe. Booty! Welcome to Africa. My name is Sheva Alamar. Chris Redfield. Your reputation precedes you, Mr. Redfield. It's an honor. Just Chris, thanks. <laughs> You're making me embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. Too much attention, too much attention, too much attention. I'll bet. Intel says it's a haven for terrorists now. And I'm not going to be happy to see an American. BSAA or not. That's why I'm your partner. Help put them at ease. Well, I'm sure you'll do Basically, that. you're white. And we're black. <laughs> uh oh, flashback. Trauma. Bad experiences. You okay? Yeah, sorry. It's nothing. Let's go. Casualties continue to mount over the long years I've struggled. She is very attractive. More and more I find myself wondering if it's all worth fighting for. Maybe one day I'll find out. Hey, hey! Who you in Genji? You don't have to get touchy. Let's go. There is one thing I do know. That dude definitely looks like a real African. I'm gonna see it through. They did a good job with these character models, cause that that guy looks super African. Now he looked like somebody that I see in my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> but the other dude, like, he definitely had that very, uh, he had, um, a full set of traditional African features in the face. Oh, this looks great. Wait, I thought I chose Sheva. Chris, Sheva, can you read me? Chris here, coming in loud and clear, Kirk. Yes, we read you. Your 
Now I remember this guy always reminded me of Kid, like a crackhead version of Kid Cudi. Maybe not him, but it was another one. Like I think the one before that cutscene ended. Dude, she is so sexy. Look at her. God damn. If I could have sex with a girl like that just once before I die, that, that's all I need. Just once. Just once. Like that. Like this. Right here. These graphics are awesome, too. Look at her. She's beautiful. Look at that perfect hourglass shape. Those narrow shoulders. Wide, but not too wide hips. Supple bosom. A nice plump booty. But not like a sloppy porn star hood booty. I mean, she's perfect. Like she's like this. This right here is a ten. Like this is a ten. This is a ten right here. Like this is just the perfect female specimen. Chris might be like a, a seven point point five. But she. Oh wow. Oh great. What's up with you guys? Y'all beat the fuck out of this dude, whoever that is. I like how they don't even take an interest in what the hell they were doing. I remember there was a lot of controversy when this game first came out because the first screenshots pretty much just showed Chris Redfield, a white man in Africa, killing a bunch of black people. And people, some people got triggered by that. And it was just so stupid. I'm sure I went on a rant about this and some other playthrough, so I'm not going to go there. You know how stupid that is. And then, as the game neared closer and closer towards being released, you started seeing more screenshots, and people started noticing, like, oh, now they got, like, these, 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 they got not just black people, you got Asians, <laughs> you got Arabs, you got Mexicans, you got a, a trailer park white dude. I mean, just, and not, not saying you don't have, um, you don't have areas of Africa that are kind of like a melting pot. Like I know South Africa is a is a, necessarily. Some people might think America has its own dark side. That doesn't sound very patriotic. I'm just a realist. It's a capitalist society. Not everyone is cut out for that kind of constant pressure. Sure, there are opportunities to be had, but at what price? You gain, someone else loses. You don't sound like any American I've ever met. That's the great thing about us Americans. We're all different. Damn, that was a nice little conversation piece. <laughs> That's the thing about us Americans. We're all different. Wow, that was... <laughs> I didn't expect good dialogue this early. Um, I'm trying to break these boxes. Oh, I, I, I don't have anything. I lost my train of thought. I was thinking about something. <laughs> oh, well, I'll probably remember it later. Man, this game looks great. Now look, I'm not going to go on a adaptive difficulty rant. <laughs> but I have to be honest. I've had this game for months and months now. But the main thing that's been discouraging me from wanting to play it is I'm pretty sure this game has adaptive difficulty. And I, I hate that with every, every fiber of my being. But I'm going to do my best to just ignore the fact that it's there. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to, you know, just, just try to enjoy the game for, for what it is. The bullshit that it is. <laughs> I'm already talking shit. Chris Redfield. But yeah, I know they have certain parts of Africa that have uh, a more di diverse, a more diverse uh, racial demographic, like South Africa. But come on, dude. But I guess it depends on where this is in Africa. They probably already told me, and I wasn't paying attention. The umbrella training facility is a okay. Oh man, this guy has a dark fate. This camera work is top notch. Yeah, they really roll out the red carpet for us Americans. Yeah, they really. 
<laughs> I tried. Yeah, they really roll out the red carpet for us Americans. I gotta practice my acting chops. So I guess he's undercover as a butcher. It's not a bad cover, I guess. Wait, can I switch to her now? Uh -huh. Okay, wait, what's that? There we go. That's the outfit. Destination coordinates. Ground squares up ahead. Go through there. Alpha team's waiting at the deal location. Good. What do you know about Uroboros? Mostly just rumors. Something about visions of a doomsday project. Doomsday sounds about right. And apparently it is no rumor. You're kidding, right? You must find the man. Only leave. Irving. And be careful out there. Maybe there's a button I can press to. They better let me use you, Sheva, dude. I'm gonna be fucking mad if I gotta, if I can't. I might not even play this shit. <laughs> oh, uh, it's gotta be something on, we can do. Oh, he has a taunt button. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know. But I got, dude, I really don't want to use Chris. If I got to deal with this adaptive difficulty bullshit, at least let me look at a sexy booty the whole time. Okay. Do I got to go to Google and say, how do I use Chris? How do I use Sheva? Oh, I can already buy stuff? No money. Okay, let me, uh, I'm gonna do a quick Google search. This is important. <laughs> this is very important. I know they did not make this game without giving the player the option to choose between Chris or Sheva. Like, I. It's been years since I played it, so I don't remember, but. RE5. How to use I must be dumb as hell to have to type this in. <laughs> But they're not telling me. They're not telling me. How do you play sheep in story mode? Oh, so you have to beat the game with Chris. And then you can use Sheva. Oh, that's kind of stupid. <laughs> that's actually really fucking dumb shit. You know why? The, like, okay, that's cool. I, I'll roll with that. I, I don't. It's not a big deal. But you know why that's so dumb, right? Because if you play two player, then somebody has to use Sheva. So by, I mean, out the gate, just one example of why this game benefits so much from multiplayer. That's really stupid. Like that's that's really dumb. That's so dumb. 
it's so dumb. And it's so dumb because if you play two player, then you can use Sheva. That's dumb. That's so dumb. <laughs> I can, wow. I wouldn't even care if not for the... Wait a minute, wait a minute. She ain't got her outfit on. Hold up. No, nah, fuck that bullshit. She better at least have the outfit on. I ain't, play, <laughs> I ain't playing that bullshit. She better at least have the outfit on. I ain't playing that. But yeah, that's that's so stupid. That's so stupid. And it's, it's stupid precisely, pre precisely because of the simple fact... Things you left off in. Uh... But yeah, it's it's stupid precisely because of this the fact that if you play two player mode, then who's ever two player can go ahead and use Sheva. So in essence, you're punishing people for playing one player because now they don't have access to the other main character without beating the game first. It's dumb. It's really dumb. This is Kirk. Chris Sheva, can you read me? Chris here. Coming in loud and clear. <laughs> I'm sorry for the delay, but I had to uh I had to know. But it's not it's not a big deal. I wouldn't care if not for the fact that two in two player mode you could use her. Otherwise I'd just be like, okay, that's you know. That's just one of those things where you play the game and you unlock cool stuff. That's nothing wrong with that. But the fact that if you play two player mode, you get a you get you get a fast track to using Sheva's sexy ass. It's like already you're being punished for playing one player. Like you 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 lame old, you don't have any friends. You can't play Sheva. You're lame. Okay. Destination coordinates. Down squares up ahead. Go through there. Help. Okay, and then. Okay. All right, so. Damn, I re I just I wish I had a. Man, I wish I had a front row seat <laughs> to that body though. God damn, bro. But I'll just have to appreciate her presence. That's what I do anyway in real life. Okay. Uh. Okay, whatever. Remember, we're a team. Whatever happens, we stick together. Don't worry. I may not be a but I can still hold my hand. I hope so. See, we're a team. I gave her a, a hundred shekels. Got one. Now, if this was Resident Evil 4, he would have dropped a gem. I'm Big Daddy Chris. Big Daddy. The body's still warm. Why is this here? Maybe somebody killed it. Oh, wow. That can't be a good sign. Okay, let's back up. What's over here, though? Oh, can't go that way. Man, these controls are a little awkward. Can't even lie. It's been a while. There's an animal carcass on the table. Is it for some ceremony? Man, I like how she, how she just immediately gets busy. She doesn't wait for me to tell her what to do. I like that. Yeah, go ahead. Get it. Get it. Get it, girl. Get it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I guess I got to tell her to do it. <laughs> A conveniently placed wood crate. Take it. Roger. Come on. Roger. You grab it. Okay. You know, the good thing about being Chris is that I can really role play as like Big Daddy team leader guy. The writing is erratic. 
all outsiders will receive the blade of punishment. We will bless them with a sacred death. We will release them from their bonds of wickedness. Was that it? Damn. Hold up. That's all you got? That's Why would you write that down and leave it there? <laughs> I swear, man. Some of these, these horror game notes are just dumb. We will release them from their wickedness. You see that? I'm I'm Big Daddy. <laughs> Did you hear? See my mentality with this. Wait a minute. Shouldn't I? Shouldn't I keep the herbs? If I remember correctly, the AI would do dumb stuff with supplies. I'll I'll at least give her a chance. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna count her out just yet. I'll give her a I'll give her an opportunity to prove herself worthy of my uh good graces. No! I don't wanna listen to your big safe! No! Kid Cuddy? They did my boy dirty too. This is exactly what the black community is like. <laughs> oh boy. You know I had to throw some Uncle Tom humor in there. Let me guess, when you when you examine him, he's gonna say not a zombie. I tried to punch him. I tried to punch him. You caught me. What the hell just happened? He's not a zombie. I told you. I told you. I thought you would be. I thought you would be able to examine him, and then you know he would. Oh, this doesn't look like a zombie, but he just went ahead and said it. Man, you gotta be strong as fuck <laughs> to bust a TV open with a knife. Man, this is some nice carpet. My mom would love something like this. Kata ka kata kata. Okay, whatever that is. Kata kata. You grab it. Roger. Hmm. Marilyn Burns did it better. Find us soon. What the hell are we doing here in the first place? I gotta say, this ain't a good first impression of Africa. Day one, and this is what <laughs> this is what happens. We need to get out of here. We need to get to that house. We'll have a better chance of fighting them from there. Go get to that mansion. Command Kirk. The locals were hostile, and we had to use force. We don't have any contingency plans for this situation, do we, Kirk? Roger on the locals, but your orders still stand. Hey, you might want to break that big axe or all of them. Damn, that's a big ass axe. God damn. It's a giant axe. Don't think it's been used on trees. Why do they have so many giant axes? That's a giga axe. Okay, I think I'm gonna take some ammo now, girl. Okay. Take it, Roger. Okay. 
I do not remember all this. Oh, rats. Damn. I gotta kill at least one of them, bro. I gotta kill at least one. Damn. Dude, I don't care how much ammo I go through. I will kill one. Oh, okay. Let me try again. Now I feel bad. I keep thinking this Resident Evil 4 or, or is going to have the same... Some of the same mechanics as Resident Evil 4, like shooting animals and getting stones. Yeah, I'm definitely going to take a nice little chunk of these, though, because... Damn, <laughs> now I feel bad. <laughs> Let me see. Let me combine that. Thanks, partner. Don't mention it. You know, it, it does feel feel better to give <laughs> than to receive <sighs> I better brace myself because this is about to get this is about to get fucking real it's about to get real world Africa in this bitch That guy always makes me think of Kid Cudi, bro. <laughs> I can't even lie. I would never listen to your mixtape. I don't even like rap. Do it. Well, at least it was quick. I better sip some water. Damn, these niggas blow. Eyes red like the sun. It's game time. We got to play this smart. Bitch. <laughs> I'm already being abusive. Bitch. All right, she moved it. Good job. Okay. It begins. I know. I'm a sharpshooter. I'm the shooter. I'm the shooter for my game. We're doing a pretty good job. Who needs a teammate? Who needs friends? The AI is my friend. Kurt, come in. The locals are hostile. The gate is sealed. We're trapped. 
We need backup and we need it right now. Oh shit. Home and oh, stop. Oh, <laughs> they got me too excited. Get away from my bitch. Oh, shit. It's getting tough now. My bad. Oh, no! Oh, shit. Come on, hit him. There we go. Bam! Yeah! Combo! Assist! All that shit. Okay. Bam! I hope this stage has the same layout as the mercenaries mode. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm on the run, man. What are you doing? <laughs> Shoot that nigga! <laughs> Literally! <laughs> oh boy. Oh shit. Okay. We gotta get to higher ground. Yeah, we got him. We got him! Pussy. Bitch, you better shoot! Where your bullets at? Oh shit. Oh shit. We got to hold out till Kurt gets here. You know what, Chris? That's a fantastic plan. Shit. Oh, that's that guy. Shit! Whoa, that was close. Move! Oh, fuck. Get it, Sheva! <laughs> oh, boy. It's too much? Ooh, I got a wise idea. Oh! Got him. Oh, okay. Oh, thanks, Shelly. That was so nice of you. You're a real trooper. A real friend. I probably will never underestimate you again. Oh! Oh shit! Oh! Oh look, I gotta. Okay, what is it? There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Say hello to my little friend! Boom! Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, man, sometimes you got to go Rambo. I have no regrets. That's what AI friends are for. Shit, I got 50. I got 50 in the clip. Oh, I, I dare you. I dare you. Oh, nah, nah, fuck that. I want him. I want you. 
I want ya. I want ya. Ugh, bitch. Nah, nah. Stay back. Stay back. I wanted to kill him too. <laughs> I had a feeling that there would be a gun somewhere, but I forgot where. I thought it might be the shotgun, though. I didn't expect it to be the, uh, what is that, a TMP or a machine gun? I'll see what it's called. Boom! Now, that's an assist. I tried to just stand and bang with the executioner guy, and I thought... I would do enough damage to drop him. Oh, I got an S. I thought I would do enough damage to drop him before I got hit. And then I got hit, but Sheva saved me. Oh, man. The first time I played that stage with my friend, that shit was crazy. I swear, man, that shit was really crazy. We might have died a couple times, too. But what a great introduction to the game. I mean, it doesn't hit quite the same as the first time, but still, they did a good job. What is, what is this called? A VZ61MG machine gun. Handgun. Look, I'll just call it the machine gun. <laughs> VZ61. Like, who the hell come up with these names, bro? Oh, okay. See how nice I am? <laughs> oh, damn, Saint. Oh, you can upgrade, too. I don't have much money, though. I should buy her one of these for her birthday. Do we share money or what? We should probably, we better share money, bro. <laughs> we better share that shit. Okay. Kirk, we owe you one. You can thank me later. Chris, Sheva, it's almost time for Alpha Team to go in. Hurry to the deal coordinates. Roger that. Okay. Don't tell me they took all the items, bro. Oh, well, if you didn't find it the first time, you're not going to get it now. Assholes. Whatever. Ah, I see. Oh, I like how you can see the gun on your back. That's always a nice touch with any game. <sighs> I think in Fallout 3, you could do that. But in Fallout 4, they don't do that any anymore, which is kind of, you know. Oh, I see. Well, I got to go down there. You know I got to go down there. Doesn't this game have a chainsaw enemy? Man, he climbed that ladder fast as hell, man. Hmm. 
I gotta be honest. Uh, I'm getting the feeling that she might be stealing some of, some of my, some of my money. <laughs> so, uh, so I think I'll be picking up the money from here on out. I'm paranoid, man. She might try to keep a hundred in her pocket or something. The route is blocked. I wonder if you can shoot, uh, if they have like a, a collectible you can shoot or something, or, or just a collectible period that you can collect and get prizes for. Oh man, I'm being greedy. I promise you'll get the next one, Sheva, with your sexy ass. If only I had the confidence to talk to girls like that in real life. <laughs> With your sexy ass. But then I'd probably end up getting a sexual harassment lawsuit. The pros and cons of confidence. Oh, that was nice. Oh! Well, I thought she was, I thought she was still ready to go. Wait, why can't you lift me up there? We can't get in from here. Okay. I'll save that for a rainy day. Animal health. Oh, hello, African. <laughs> Man, this guy really wanted us. Boom! That is so satisfying. Yeah, I see you. Oh, wait. I know what part is coming up now. The damsel in distress. I mean, I got kind of lucky there. If his back wasn't turned, he would have got me. Sorry. I wonder how that shit feels to have a just a big ass parasite in your head. Oh. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Get your hands off me, boy. You want to die tonight? You ain't got a choice. The nerve of this Negro. Go ahead. I promise not to look. <laughs> I miss already. Oh man, that key did not look good. Oh man, nice dodge. Oh shit. Nice kick. Oh damn, too late. Come on, let me, let me get a punch in. I can't? Oh. Good job. We make a damn good team. <laughs> the 
Whoa. <laughs> uh. I know. What was he doing in there? <laughs> Bam! Follow up. Hold up. And the finish! Stop. I don't know, man. I, I got a good feeling about this playthrough. <laughs> I know it's early, but damn, we make a good team. All right, so... Thus far, I can say that her AI is pretty... It's okay. It's a bit more dynamic than what I expected. Of course, it doesn't have the... It's not as good as a real person. But overall, it's, it's solid. She's helpful. As she should be. Oh, wow. It's empty. Someone completely cleaned it out. What kind of place is this anyway? It's unlocked. Okay. I'm so greedy, man. I just, I, I gotta grab everything. Maybe it's just me, but this part doesn't feel completely linear. Even though I know in overall these uh these games are just that very linear. Gone are the days of exploring a a sizable area for clues and items and keys and whatnot. But I do kind of get the sense that I'm exploring uh, that I'm exploring an area and not just going on a straight line. Hey! Pop! <laughs> you dumb whore. She's of the Jezebel spirit. I guarantee it. Hmm. What else do I have? Okay. But these games are... Wait. Now, look at this. Look at what I do. Look at what look at how nice I am, dude. That was just that was nice. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, it feels so good. You're not gonna use it though. You know? <laughs> it's like you just like you buy someone a present and they put it up. It feels so good to be nice. Even if it's just an AI. A AI uh an AI person. <laughs> AI person. I prefer the term synthetic persons. But you know the the Resident Evil games, at least the early ones, they were structured in such a way where it was like you had this maybe not a big area, but a, a you know a a sizable area that the player would explore. <laughs> That's a chicken. I'm trying to kill him. That the player would explore and look for clues and whatnot. Damn, they don't drop anything. But yeah, they would have a a. You know, a, a sizable area that the player would explore for clues and items and, and keys and whatnot. And because of that, it didn't really feel very linear. 
Because it gave you this sense of, okay, I'm in this area that I have to explore. And there were different doors you could go through. Different routes you could take. As far as the order in which you do certain things. I mean, at least, at least you know, up to a certain point, right? You can't skip certain things. and But you can't take different routes in order to... As far as the order in which you do things. Oh, old building key. <gasps> Shotgun. And that's why I gave you the machine gun. <laughs> Oh man! But with the uh, newer games, you know these are obviously structured differently, where it's not like you're placed into an area where you have to explore. For the most part, right? You, you're not placed into an area where you have to explore and find keys and. But you know, I, I guess I guess in in certain parts are I guess I guess you can say that, especially especially in Resident Evil Four, when you get to the castle. But it's still not to the same degree that that it is in the earlier games. You know, these games feel much more like you're on a, a set path. Instead of a larger area that you have to explore, you just kind of just go along. You kind of just go you kind of just go with the flow. And you deal with whatever you find on the path that you're on. <laughs> okay. Ah, let me go ahead. Oh. That bitch is tough. I got my own troubles. There you go. Oh, wow. I'm going to blame her for that. Punk ass bitch! She saved my life again. How can I talk shit about the AI when she's been saving my life like this? That damn, that thing was tough. Now, was that some adaptive difficulty? <laughs> or did I just suck? I don't know. But she did seem a bit... She seemed a bit overpowered there. I wasn't expecting that this early. I mean, you saw how I was just putting shotgun shells in her fucking tentacle, her parasite thing. I had to step on your grandma. Come on, don't get up. You get up, it's going to get worse. That's how we do it over here. You get up, it gets worse. But you know, obviously the, the structure of the older games was because of its, well partly due to its much, much, much slower pace. These games have a much faster pace, so you kind of just got to get guided along.
the idea and the goal is obviously just to keep things moving. Yo, <laughs> why did I do that? Alexia, they don't even give me enough time to read this shit. I know the first boss is that, uh, the first boss is that it's like a, a leech monster that you have to set on fire or something. Who the heck, like, what is this room for? <laughs> like, what is this? What is this for? Who is this for? I mean, I understand this isn't necessarily a wealthy community, but come on, dude. Y'all can do better than this. Y'all can do better than this. Oh. Something's dripping from the ceiling. It's not mud. That's my drip. My swagger. S swag. <laughs> swag. Oh, man. Remember when that it was cool to say swag? Oh, man. What the... Is he from the Alpha Team? He's already dead. He's dressed like a man armor. His rooms weren't made by bullets. He knew what he signed up for. He deserved it, knives. <laughs> like, damn, Chris, cold blooded. <laughs> nah, that's not like Chris at all. He's all about the team. No one gets left behind. Except Pierce in Resident Evil 6. I guess some people do get left behind. Oh man, I tried to get two for one. Two for one swipe. Alright, you can get that. Dude, I've been taking all the handgun ammo, huh? You see how nice I was to give her that damn thing? Don't make me regret it, Shiva. But so far, you've proven yourself to be a worthy ally. That's why I'm giving you access to the big boy toys. I'm going to tell you guys right now. The only way I will ever do a Resident Evil 6 playthrough is if I'm playing it with somebody else. <laughs> That's the only way. I would never play that by myself. Damn. At least with another person, we can, we can suffer through it together. <laughs> Irving was one of the few, like, good villain characters in the whole, this whole game. I mean, of course, Wesker, but Wesker is a, obviously, you know, just a straight up badass boss man, draped in black. But I say that because with Resident Evil 4, pretty much all of the villains were so memorable. Krauser, Salazar, Sadler, Chief Mendez. You you remember the, the whole band of four, like the <laughs> but, but wait, not band of four, the elite four. That's a Pokemon reference, by the way. Kirk, do you copy? Chief Mendez, Salazar, Sadler, Krauser. Yeah. The Elite Four. You you remembered like the whole bad guy squad. But in this one. The only one who was even semi-memorable was Irving, because he had that weird look, that funny voice. Who was the other one? Was it uh, Alexa? Nah. Excella? Oh, God. I hope that's not her name, Excella. That's a dumb fucking name, but I get the feeling. Yo, Chris is ripped, too. I just noticed. I'm getting pretty swole, too, man. I've been working out pretty consistently lately. I haven't been able to run lately because I messed my ankle up a few months ago, so, <laughs> you know, you know how that is, you gotta wait for that to heal up, it's been taking a long time to, that, I messed it up like, I think it was like late, it was like August or late July or something, and 
It still isn't a hundred percent. I mean, I'm good. It's just that I can't really run long distances like I used to. I can do pretty much everything else though. It's like I tried to go running again like a month ago, and like the first lap I was good, but then after that the pain came back and. You know, I just want to go ahead and let it heal up before I start going hard again. But shit happens, man. When you live in this, this training life. This same sticky black substance was on those corpses. What the heck is it? Okay. I got to properly prepare for this. I'll get used to it, don't worry. <laughs> Let me see. Hopefully I won't have to use the first aid spray. But uh just in case. I owe you one. I'll give it to her. Give me a grenade. Use this. Okay. I think that boss fight is coming up. That's why I'm <laughs> I'm getting all uh I'm getting all prepared here. Okay, uh, I kind of want to take this back. <laughs> That's a nice machine gun. You want, you want the shotgun, Shep? <laughs> it might be kind of sexist to, to say that Chris should have the big man shotgun and she should have the machine gun. But to be quite honest with you, I want this machine gun. <laughs> Give me your machine gun. You can have the shotgun. Thanks, partner. You got it. I owe you one. I need ammo. Take this. I can't lie. I want that machine gun, bro. I know. Thanks, partner. Oh shit! I fucked up. Give me your machine Use gun. This. I know conventional wisdom would say give the girl the machine gun and give the the big manly man the the shotgun, but I like this damn machine gun a lot. That moment we had together against the executioner guy, I'll never forget it. How could I possibly forget it? Damn it, are there no survivors? Yeah, shit. The first body was like, okay, well, you know, we're going to lose warriors along the way. But the second and third is like, damn, dude. I'm losing all my bros out here. Oh, another one. These gas cylinders look easy to knock over. Man, she got a lot of shotgun shells. Well, boss activated, I'm sure. Oh, wait, no, nah, this does it. Okay, let's go. Let's leave. Certainly nothing would go wrong. I got to get my arms like Chris, man.
I think I've gained at least about an inch though. It's Tentacle Man! A Japanese woman's worst nightmare. In the flesh. I think that's what got Alpha Fall back! Fall back! Atari. Oh, great. Okay. Okay. Scoosh! Oh shit. I'm gonna try to lure him in the other way. Wait, where the fuck did he go? Oh shit! Oh! Watch out. That wasn't enough? But it's so hot. Yo, man, he got a two for one. We got a little overzealous there, Sheva. But I got a wise idea. Well, not really wise. Just I'll throw grenades at him and run. <laughs> Watch this. You're going to love me. Damn. We were so close. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh shit. I'm going for it. Well, I went for it. There you go, Sheva. Oh, now he wanna just sit in there. Oh, I gotta go for it. Stay down. Don't try to come through this door. Ah! Yeah! Damn! 
told you I got the hottest mixtape on the block. Yeah, you might want to tell headquarters about the giant leech monster man that you found while roaming Africa. I'm sure somebody would like to hear that bit of news. Oh, man. Chris, he looks so stupid with that little machine gun on his back. That's a big ass knife, though. The knife is bigger than the machine gun. What's this? Oh hell yeah! You grab it. Okay. You grab it. Okay. Up, up, and away. Alexia inject <laughs> Now you guys are a little bit too late Let's go Look at those shoes man Oh look at Jill Spoiler alert. I got it. What was that thing? BOW that scumbag Irving left behind to set us up. Considering what it did to Alpha Team, I think we're lucky to still be breathing. Only we could have gotten there sooner. If we had, we'd probably be dead too. How do you know that, Chris? Y'all did a pretty good job. HQ, do you copy? This is HQ. Excellent work out there. We'll analyze the data immediately. This whole town's gone to hell. The people here, they're acting like those Ganado detailed in the Kennedy report. And aside from that, there's something new. Something we've never encountered before. Our transportation has been taken out, too. Requesting a mission update. The mission stands. Captain Irving is your top priority. We believe you may have fled to the mines on the other side of the train station. Wait, we're the only two left. You want us to go in there alone? Delta team have been dispatched and are on their way. They'll assist you in locating and apprehending Irving. But wait, we can't! I repeat, your mission stands. We can't afford to let him get away. Proceed to the mines beyond the station. Nope. This is insane! You ever get the feeling you're expendable? Damn, Chris, how you end up in this situation, though? You're supposed to be a boss by now, bro. You're supposed to be running shit. <laughs> he shouldn't even be in a situation like this. I mean, at this point, you would think he would have the authority to say, Screw your orders. Screw your orders, General. I'm going rogue. Like he should, <laughs> he should be at that point by now. I was. Oh, I got treasures. I got nice things. Oh, yeah, let's sell that shit. A beautiful woman's portrait has been carved into the ivory. The handiwork is impeccable. Oh, let me see this beautiful woman. Uh, she's like a five. Okay. Oh man, we got some dough now. Uh... Ithaca M three seven shotgun melee vest. I got to get that. That's definitely the first thing you want to buy. I could do weapons upgrades, 
But the problem with that is I know we're going to find new shotguns and machine guns. So it's like if I upgrade the machine gun and then I find a new machine gun, you know how that goes. So I probably won't be upgrading the first weapons. So. I think I'll hang on to my cash. We can't let Irving get away. We have to get to the station. I agree. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. I will return later with more Resident Evil 5. We're doing good so far. Jana.